Hey guys, what's up? Alec with the Daily Stock Market. I just wanted to hop on today to just do a quick video and give you guys an update of what we've been experiencing and the growth we've been having too, and some stocks that we've talked about like Intel and Beyond Meat on this channel, and they're actually a lot higher now. So even if you follow this YouTube channel, you can make money very easily. Now, on the past week, we are up $300. Now, in the past month, we're up $2,300. In the past three months, we're up $6,800. And in reality, guys, I have about $6,500 in buying power. So you can subtract that. So on my Robinhood account, I only have $18,000 in that this one account, but we're up $6,800 too. Now, on Fidelity, I also have another $15K in there. And Webull, I have another $15K too. So we'll give updates on both of those accounts in this video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. All right, so if you've been subscribed to the channel longer than just a week or two weeks, you have seen my videos about Intel saying to buy at $45, and now they're up all the way to $59. So that would have been a 28% gain that you could have had on this stock just from watching my YouTube videos. Now, we went over the supports. We've identified them very often, $44. You know, you probably remember these videos if you're a long-term subscriber, 44, 45, and then it just popped up to $59. It hasn't broken this support of $45 in the last two years. So we were very, very confident that it wasn't going to break the support of two years anytime soon. And now it's up to $59. So if you did get on board with that 28% gain, congratulations with you on taking that risk because anytime you are investing, it is a risk, of course. So what I'm going to be personally doing with Intel, I'm going to be selling out on some of my position. I already taken most of my gains. I only have about $400 left at a 23% gain. I'll probably be selling out of that if it goes much higher, but I already sold out of most of my position. You know, I think that we're right at the time. You can see the resistance is right around 60 and we're nearing 60 right now. So in my opinion, I'm going to sell out on some of my gains, wait for it to drop back to that support of 45 even 50, I'll probably start buying around 50 and then wait for it to ride back up to 60 again. Now, if you're rocking with me and my channel, don't forget to hit a thumbs up right now. Give it an early like on this video and make sure you are subscribed on YouTube. Beyond Meat, we've talked about on this channel plenty of times. And I was actually saying in my last video that it's one of my favorite stocks in the stock market currently. And that's when it was sitting at like 120. It was like 120, 118, and I was saying buy, buy, buy at 116, 118, buy, buy, buy. Everyone was saying, oh, don't buy Beyond Meat. But what did we know? We knew that we were going to get that 22% gain on Beyond Meat. I have a very large position with Beyond Meat, about $3,000 just in Beyond Meat. So in this account, you'll see it's $844. And when we hop over to my Webull account, you'll see I have another $2,300 on Webull and then another like $800 on Fidelity too. So Beyond Meat, in my opinion, I'm gonna treat it two different ways. There's two different options with Beyond Meat. So if I just got in like yesterday or two days ago, which when Beyond Meat was at $116 a share, I was posting on my close friend story showing that I was loading the boat with Beyond Meat. I was buying thousands of dollars of Beyond Meat and I was posting that. So if you do want to see what I am doing, what moves I'm making, this I show all what stocks I'm buying, how much I'm buying, how long I'm holding for, and I also show what I'm selling and how much I'm sh selling to. So that's all open. DM me to get on the list. But in my opinion, what beyond me, what I'm going to treat this, I'm going to do a long-term play with majority of my shares. So I think that this one can ride up to 150 Looks because it looks like if you look right here, the resistance was at 145, 140, where it's at right now, where the price is sitting at. So if it breaks past this resistance, um, which is showed right here too, I think that it can go all the way up to the resistance of 155. So 155 is very achievable, in my opinion, for Beyond Me. So I'll be holding most of my shares at least to 155. But if you hold for long term, I think that it can go up to $200 or even past new all-time highs, especially as you guys saw it, it just released that news with Taco Bell. Beyond Meat jumped 14% on ta Taco Bell partnership. We knew this was coming. I posted in my close friends list. It's going to have a lot of fast food partnerships. KFC is probably going to be next or another like chicken kind of company. They're going to be partnering with Beyond Meat. Beyond Meat's the biggest name in plant-based food, which was what I was saying on my close friends too. And our society as a whole right now 
in the future, in the next three to five years, we're going to be moving very rapidly to plant-based foods. And a lot of these fast foods and even restaurants and Walmart is going to be starting to carry a lot more plant-based food as an alternative. All right. Now, if you're a recent subscriber and you've just subscribed recently, you've seen my post about BNGO on Sunday where I was saying $5, even if it's at $5, which it was for a long time, I was saying buy, buy, buy at $5. And if it gets to $3, then load the boat. Right now, we're sitting on a nice gain on $5. It went up about 40%. So we have about a 50% gain right now. If you actually look at that, I have a lot more shares, by the way, on my Fidelity, on my Vanguard, I put in my retirement fund because BNGO, I think, is a long-term play. And in my opinion, in the next five years, this can probably be like a $20 stock or maybe even more. This one is going to be super, super volatile though. So watch out. It's going to go up and down like a roller coaster. Chances are it might even get back to $3 a share. So load the boat at that time. That's what I'm going to be personally doing. So congratulations if you did follow along with BNGO and you're up from $5 a share. Now it's at $7.22. So we have about a 50% gain and I'm sure a lot of you guys have that 50% gain on BNGO also. And in my opinion, the whole genomic sector, BNGO is going to be a long-term hold. And this sector has a long way to go in the next five years. We even heard Kathy Wood herself say that genomics is going to be the sector to outperform every other sector in the stock market in the next five years. Now, if you've been rocking with the channel for a long time, you already heard about Dropbox too. We talked about Dropbox and we even put it on our options video on what was that friday last like about a week ago the options video and a lot of people took that option out and they made their money and in my close friends list i actually posted when i was selling it so we already got in and out of that position you can actually if i scroll down you'll see i own about 782 we're up 11 percent which i'm holding my position but if we go to my option down here you'll actually see i put a stop loss so I bought it at 224. We rocked it all the way up to $290 and sold at 290. At one point it was at 320, but we put a stop loss on this option, which means that if it goes lower than the price that I put, it'll automatically sell. So it was at like 320 and I put a stop loss of $290. And what happens is as soon as it went down to 290, I took profits, we got out of Dropbox, at the right time too. So that's why you also want to be on the close friends list is because I post my stop losses, what price I'm trying to exit, and also when I am selling. Now we saw Dropbox get affected a little bit yesterday after they did the jobs cuts. So and the COO also departed. So if you want to read that article, I recommend it. But in my opinion, they are going to fix up the company a little bit and Dropbox is still great for a long term hold. I'll love to be buying more Dropbox right around $20 a share. I hope it does get that low to 20, hopefully even 19, 18, because I'll be buying more. My cost basis on just my Robinhood account is $20 and 0.3, 20.3. And when we hop over to my Webull and Fidelity, you guys can actually see how much I own on these other stocks on my different accounts too. And the last one I have to give you guys an update about is WBA, Walgreens Boot Alliance. And this is at $49 a share right now. If you've been a long-term subscriber of the channel, you remember when we were getting in at $38, $39, even $40 a share. We were buying, we rode that all the way up to $49. And most of us up about like 24%. I'm up 18% on this one profile just because I've been buying for a long time. And we have a lot of good news around Walgreens right now. It just released the credit and their own debit card. And also it's going to have the place where the vaccines are going to be getting. So you usually go there for a flu shot. You probably been to Walgreens for your shots. This is where the vaccines are actually going to be distributed. In my opinion, I think they actually already put out some solid news on that too. So you might want to look that up. And we're also taking call options out on Walgreens in my close friends list. So a lot of people have been making money off Walgreens just from buying shares at $38, $40, which you probably remember from the YouTube videos. And then also the close friends list, we were buying options and writing that up. Some people had like 50% gains in two days from Walgreens too. So if we hop over to my Webull account, you'll see we have another $15,751 
we have an open profit and loss of 45% profit. And if we go to our performance in the last six months, we're up $5,500 total. 40, we're up more than that 4,900 because we have been taking small profits here and there. Now the market value, I actually only have 12K in this account because my buying power is 3,600 that I'm waiting to put more into the market. Now, if you look at what we have here, you see Beyond Meat, we have $2,800 in my Beyond Meat account, just on this one account. We're up $390, 15% in one day. I remember looking at this, what was it, yesterday or two days ago, and we were down 4%, and I was adding more fuel. I added like $1,000 when we were down 4% on Beyond Meat, and everyone's like, why are you adding money if you're down on a position? Is because if you believe in a position long term and you know the company in and out, you want to buy them the lower they go. So if you fix your eyes down to Dropbox down here, you'll see I have $1,500 more of Dropbox in this account with an 18% gain. And you can look at some of my other positions too. We have uh, nice gains on this account. And if we go down a little bit more, these are the ones I've been holding even longer. And these are all my home run stocks that I've just been holding and they've been marinating. I've been holding these for probably eight to 12 months on some of these positions that you see on the screen now. Kirkland's, you'll actually see we're up 2,400%. And we've already taken $1,000 of profits out of that stock. Percentage-wise, that's one of my best stocks that I ever took. And if you scroll up a little bit more, these stocks are some of my newer stocks. We've probably been holding these anywhere from three to six months. The ones higher up, I've been holding for like one to two months, three months. And the ones a little bit lower, like JWN and Tapestry, we've been holding for around six months too. So as of right now, we are 100% green on the Webull account. Every single stock has been picked as a winner. We're 100%, no losses on the Webull account. And a lot, the funny thing about this account is if you take a look at it, like when I first buy these stocks, like Work, for example, Bank of America, Upwork, these were all red positions when I owned them like 30 days in. And now they're up 100%, 60%, 40%. So if you're not seeing gains or the gains you want to see, a really good secret and a really good tip is switch your mindset to more of a long-term mindset with the stock market. Because the stock market does favor long-term investors more than short-term investors. If you think about it, the stock market is known to be very unpredictable in the short term, and it's known to be very, very stable and go up consistently over a long period of time. If you take two years, five years of an example, it's known to go up over long term. So why would you set yourself up for failure or something harder, more challenging, and doing short-term investing when long-term investing strategies pay off in the short term anyway. Most of these stocks that I plan on holding for 12 months or 24 months, if I just hold them for three or four months, they end up going up anyway. So if you have a long-term mindset and long-term fundamentals, it ends up paying off in the short term anyway, in my opinion. And my last account, which is my Fidelity account, we actually have a Vanguard account too, but I'm not gonna show that one. So the last one for today is gonna be Fidelity. It's $14,000, $771 in this account. We're up $342, up 2% just today. And if we go to my positions, you'll actually see the first thing you'll see is I have 2,800 just in cash, by the way. Um, but if we actually go to my profit and losses, what you'll see on total, we have $1,588 that we've actually gained on this one. So my position of work on this one, we have an extra $325 in work, up 69%. Nordstrom, we have another $300 of Nordstrom in this account, up 198% at this point in time. And you can kind of look at these ones. We even have some Virgin Galactic Holdings in this account, $267, up 52%. And we even own some more Intel on this one, 371. We're up 28% on Intel in this account. So I'll probably be selling some of that out soon. And you can kind of look through these on yourself too. We have some Aurora Cannabis, 27% gain. We have 319 position, Planet 13. We have $834 of Planet 13. We're up 27% on that. We even have some Nikola in this account. We have $300 in Nikola. We're up 25% on Nikola. DraftKings, we're up 26%. 
and Canopy Growth Company corporations. We're up 26% on them too. Tattooed Chef, we even have $400 of TTCF, some of your guys' favorite stock, up 20% on that one. And we have some more Dropbox of 247 and so on and so forth. We see this is, we even have some more Beyond Meat in this account too. We're up 11% on this account and we have $1,500 more dollars of Beyond Meat in this account, guys. That's a large amount. So I think total I have what, like $4,000 in Beyond Meat? Probably gonna be selling some soon because that is a little bit too much in my opinion, especially for it to go. And the only reason I was buying really heavy is because I was so confident when it was at $116 that it was gonna be going up to at least 125 and now it's at 135. So I'll probably be selling some of that off tomorrow. And the list just keeps going on and on and on. The only ones we're actually down on is the Very Good Food Company is our biggest, biggest hit. We're down 31% on that one, which is a pretty big hit. Facebook, we're down 4%, which I don't care about. Baba, we're down 2%, which I don't care about. Wix, we're only down 2%. Shift, down 2%. Pfizer, down 2%. Coca-Cola, down 1%. These are all pretty small positions, so they don't really matter that much. That's why if you look at my overall gain we're up $1,500 overall, which is the main important thing. Yeah, you're going to have a few losers. And the very good food company, the reason I'm not worried about that one either is because I know long-term, that one will definitely pay off too. That one's a very long-term, like a 6, 12-month, 24-month hold, and it's going to definitely be going green too. So all of these, this account will be 100% green if you give it a few more months too. We'll actually come back if you're a long-term subscriber. We'll come back in a few months and we'll actually check up on this account and see how green everything is and we'll check up on how everything's been doing so guys that is the video i hope you really did enjoy it i hope you got some value to see where i'm putting my money how i'm investing we updated some stocks intel dropbox beyond meat and a few others too so if you like those updates leave a comment below share with your friend let me know in the DMs anything to let me know that you want more videos like this too. I hope it was very helpful. And as far as my training program goes, spots fill up so quick. So DM me if you are interested in that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.